Good morning, good morning. What a chilly morning out and I may have to go get a sweatshirt pretty soon. Right now we're getting a slight little drizzle. If you wouldn't be out in it, you would not even know that we are getting a drizzle. This morning while it's drizzling, I need to put all the tips back on the sprayer. I had some off for the hoses for the uh, under drops and all that good stuff, the Y drops. Have you ever had it? And I've done this a lot lately. You take something off of a piece of equipment. In this case, it's all these sprayer tips. Like here, there's two missing. I put them in a box and I'm like, okay, Danny Cornstar, don't forget you put them right here. So you remember where they are to put them back on. I cannot find what I did with them. It's driving me crazy. Well, it looks like Ellie found a rabbit. She's been playing with rabbits. She picks them up, carries them around. When she's done with them, she lets them go. She is so gentle with them. Oh, Ellie. Hey, come on, Ellie. Let's leave it alone. I'll have to go hide the rabbit again. So anyhow, I'm looking for the spray tips. I got to take care of the dog here for a moment. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Oh, it's time consuming, time consuming. I should have the sprayer up a little higher. Got to put one of these on each, every other row, every other row. Oh shoot, we got more than that. One thing, some of this stuff, it just takes time. And you want to get on to the next thing because I'm ready to get stuff ready for the field. And we got to do this stuff that was spring work stuff, but we're done with it now. <sighs> And we got to winterize it sometimes so we don't want everything to freeze right now you're probably thinking daddy cornstarch you're gonna wash the sprayer again i'm thinking the same thing i'm getting tired of washing these things but it's funny you wash it you think you got it looking nice and then you get walking around it and you miss oh everywhere miss Puh, horrible and then you let it dry maybe not let it dry but hit it again i think this will be the fourth time but what we're doing now is trying to get a final final really good cleaning soap it up really good and then uh little ellie just walked by and took a pee right there i need more more hose i need more hose never long enough never long enough why does everything always got to be twisted up He's going to do some welding and patch it up. Little Ellie's ready to play. You ready to play, girl? What are you doing, Eddie? Did you come from the UPS truck today? <laughs> what are you doing, Ellie? Ellie. Did you come delivered today? What are you doing down there? <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> well, this shows you how little Neva is. She can fit in the box. She's going to change little Eddie's diaper. <laughs> if he lets me. <laughs> He's a little excited right now. Yeah, your character, buddy. How's it working up there, Cole? Pretty good. Looking good. Figure out the best method to do it where you're not getting dripped on the whole time. Oh, that's hard. You gotta go from the bottom up. And then you put dirt from the bottom or top to the bottom and then you gotta hit the bottom again. I <laughs> know. At least then you just have to hit it with water versus soap. True, true. Right now we get to make a mess. I got below the corn stalks out or some trash up in the radiator. There's a plate underneath there. I took that off and now we're going to try to blow all the corn stalks out. Probably look worse than it is. Maybe it won't look bad at all. Cole's over there power washing that sprayer up. That one is a really, really clean unit. So I really want to give that one an over cleaning. Seems like the sprayers take the most time to get washed up. I wish we had time to change all the hub oil and all that in it right now, but with field work coming around the work the corner we will have these over in cold storage and then this winter when we get done to harvest we can start running some of this stuff in the shop and working on it this winter 
Isn't it something how much we like fall in love with our pets, their family, and couldn't imagine not having little Ellie traping behind me. You're my little buddy, ain't ya? And for you that don't know, little Ellie is actually my son Cooper's little puppy. I think she'll be a year old November. Maybe she's getting closer than that even, but yeah, probably close to November she'll be a year old. I'm taking the old van over to Cole's. I decided to grab that because make sure everybody knows, doesn't know this secret, but you guys, the air conditioning works really, really good in this vehicle. It actually started getting pretty warm today, which kind of surprised me because this morning it started out pretty chilly. A few of the beans around are starting to lightly turn colors. This will probably be our last week of, uh, I shouldn't say horse around, but trying to get some of these odd jobs done, like getting the sprayers cleaned up and stuff. We really need to get this stuff done so we can really start concentrating on getting machinery out, hooked up, ready for harvest. It's gonna be coming on before the crud on your teeth can grow. I got a text message from Coop. He says, I'm pretty sure I know where, how do you get the little seat belt? Oh, uh, steering wheel up. He said, I'm pretty sure I know where they are. And I think he's right. These are the tips we're looking for. Oh, good deal, good deal, good deal. Hey, Brownie. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. You guys are probably wondering where I'm at right now. Thinking, hey, Daddy Cornstar is in his own field. Well, actually, me and Cole, we came up to Champion Plot Day today. Oh, 116 day corn. That ear is actually as tall as my head. So we are running around in a bunch of different corn. Champion. This is actually one of the numbers we plant. I think we got four or five different Champion seed numbers that we plant how many numbers did we plant champion but if you look down that way it just keeps going and going and going the different numbers a lot of plot which is really nice it gives you a lot of choices so we're just up here kind of checking out the champion seed so far what we see we really like but we like their seed it's been very very good to us that's why we plant it so we're out checking the plot and then we get to go for the free meal that's honestly why we're here for the free meal free steak sandwiches as many as you want and my uncle tony is doing the grilling he's a good griller he is so but we'll just tell him we we're here to look at the corn and yeah. thank you for the free meal we're in the champion shed there right now eating with brandon they got it looking nice in here 